गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स टुडे आई हैव ए पी एस थ्री दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री मॉडल एंड विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉल्ट आई कैन शो यू दैट वेन आई प्रेस दिस पावर बटन इट गोज टू ग्रीन लाइट सी एंड फॉर फाइव टू टेन सेकेंड इट रिमेन्स ऑन ग्रीन and no hdd light blinking it's mean hdd is not working and also processor is not working for me it is very interesting maybe now in this play session the fault is of component any component that has changed its value or the processor processor pads or balls that have cracked or see noise off i will turn it on again it again keeps itself on for 5 to 10 seconds then permanently off i was saying that uh, this fault may be the change of a component value or the processor pads that have cracks or layer or isolation from its uh, connection so today we will see that uh, how we can remove this fault i will also check it on component level and now the position is that i have connected the hdmi cable here but there is no display no display no sound no hdd indication let's see what happened to this console this ps3 it is very interesting fault for me too and uh, may be helpful for you too thank you that's so fine let's start start it again yes this power supply working output is this 1.8 volt 9 volt okay this power supply this power supply is for gpu it's working and second one is also working and the output voltage is this 1 volt it's okay now come to this point this power supply is for cpu it's okay second rail is okay and the output voltage are 1 volt it's okay now the this one power supply now it is turned off by itself due to its own fault again we will power it on then again check for the power supply for the cpu ram it's working and 1.2 volt it's okay now the third power supply is 5 volt and this is okay and 5 volts are coming so guys all power supplies are working fine and uh, also you can check here for the clock on south bridge yeah it's coming and it's coming from this source this is the wifi chip and so the wifi chip is also good now i am on the conclusion that uh, the problem is in this section this in this section 
first we'll, we will check for the data that NAND produce or gives this data to this south bridge either the data processing or not let me check power it on again and uh, this is the data and data is not running this processor is not working fine so I have to reflow this chip this processor chip main processor so that the connectivity problem underneath this pads and uh, uh, you can say it the between the pads and the ball The temperature data was going high through this chip to this south bridge. So I need to wash all the flux underneath this processor. First we have to put these heat sinks over here on the spreading plates of the processors so that it could not be turned off instantly. Yes. Now, you can see the standby light, I am going to turn it on, yes, and go to the display, uh, yes, ah, yes, we are successful in fixing this issue. You can see the display uh, connecting the controller. I am going to connect the controller here, and uh, you can see sync it. Yes, synced. Oh, because fan is not attached, the system is has become again hot and turned off. You can see, okay, oh, because fan is not attached, the system is has become again hot and turned off. You can see, after reassembling the PS3, then I will show you the display, the proper display.
no the system is fully assembled and now I'm going to turn it on to show you the display connecting the controller yes no I'm turning it on Yes, you can see the display syncing the controller and controller is synced and the system is fixed. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe for more useful videos like this. Thank you. Goodbye.